The history of the Olaf breed is surprising, beautiful and tragic. The founder of the breed was Count Alexei Olaf Chesmensky. From 1775, after his retirement, the Count fully committed himself to breeding, dreaming of creating the perfect horse, graceful and powerful, able to pull a carriage and work under saddle. The Olaf Trotter is the result of various breed crossings – Arabian, Dutch, Mecklenburg and Danish. The Arabian stallion Smetanka is generally admitted as the progenitor of the breed. White with a pearly coat, the horse moved beautifully in all gates and had an additional set of ribs. Sadly, he didn't adapt to life in Russia and died a year later. The Count, however, managed to get his offspring, which consisted of four stallions and one mare. It was Polkon, one of the sons of Smetanka, and in turn his grandson Bars, who turned out to be particularly demanded and were actively used to further the development of the breed. Fit and tall, this beautiful dapple grey horse has a long, elegant, swan-like neck. The Olaf Trotter is just as much a Russian trademark as the Samovar or Koklama painting. Large, beautifully built, these horses have a nice trotting horse and are known around the globe as light draft horses. This breed, in particular, has played a crucial role in the development of Russian and world's horse breeding and became the gold standard for trotter breeds. The Olaf's trotter average height is around 162-165 cm. There are three main types of exterior of the horse – light or lean, medium and large, reminding of draft horses. The horse has a well-proportioned physique, a harmonious head, a lean, strong and beautiful curved neck, high withers, a muscular back with a wide croup and svelte legs, completed with a lavish tail and main noble posture and graceful movements. These horses are mostly of different shades of grey, light, dark or dapple. It's not uncommon, however, to find black and sorrel specimens. When breeding these horses, one should keep in mind that they finish development and growth around 4 and 5 years old, and are then ready for mating. Despite such late maturity, the Olaf horses are particularly fertile and tend to live long. Additionally, a lively mind and an energetic character, as well as good temper, promote the successful development of the breed, of which ill-natured and spooky representatives are rare. The simplicity of the breed also allows it to be used for hypotherapy. The Olaf Trotter is an all-round breed, as this was the sought-after characteristic when creating it. Already then, these horses could briskly run long distances, which made them irreplaceable when traveling through boundless Russia. For example, in 1836, Stallion Bichok established a world record. He covered 3.2 kilometers just under 2 miles, in 5 minutes and 45 seconds. They are easily adaptable, a quality that allowed them to first spread across the central provinces of Russia and then to its corners, mainly to pull a carriage. In 1985, there were 54,813 pure-breed horses in Russia. But in the 90s, the number started to decline due to economic instability in the country. Around 1997, the number of mares reached a critical low of 800 specimens, whereas standard breeding requires at least a thousand. In sport, the Olaf Trotter can compete in almost all disciplines, including driving and dressage. Amateurs of horse riding particularly enjoy their conciliatory and agreeable spirit. Their easily adaptable nature has also allowed them to be used in cities as police working horses or for horseback promenades in parks. 